Welcome to part 2. In this part, we'll get comfortable with the debugging screen and the various buttons and the strips present in the debugging area. So first we'll learn how to start, stop and change a debugger in a custom program. So I am in Tcode SE38. So I have this same custom program which we have been talking about. So if you see here, there are two red icons. So these are the debuggers. So if you see on the left hand side, it is it is a session breakpoint. Okay, it means it is active for the current session. And if you see on the uh, right, there is a external breakpoint. So sometimes when you are working in a web dimpro program or some uh, uh, web services or some portal, so your normal um, session breakpoint will not work. In that case, you have to put an external breakpoint. So external means from outside of SAP. Let's check how we can put the two break. So in order to start a um, debugger, you need to put the breakpoint. So what we can do is you can put your cursor on the line where you want the breakpoint. And on the left hand side in the yellow area, you can double click it. It will automatically put the session breakpoint. Or the other way around is you can put a cursor on this line and then click the session breakpoint icon. It will put the cursor. Similarly, if you want to put an external uh, debugger, so you put a cursor on the uh, on the line where you want the external breakpoint and then hit this external breakpoint icon. If you double click on the left hand side, it will by default create the session breakpoint. So for external breakpoint, you have to click on this icon. All right. So now once I have the debugger set, if I execute the program, now the debugger should stop at the first breakpoint. Let's see that in action in SAP screen. I need to go to tcode SE38, then give the program name and hit the display icon. Now I need to go to the line where I want to put my breakpoint. So I want to put my breakpoint in the line 97. So what I can do, I can double click here on the left hand side yellow area. So it will put the session breakpoint by default. The other way around is, or uh, if I want to remove the breakpoint, I just double click on the same area and it removes the breakpoint. The other way around is I am at the curse. I have the cursor where I want my breakpoint and click on the session breakpoint. Here you go. The breakpoint has been set. And if I need to remove it, just put the cursor on the line and hit the session breakpoint again. It will delete the breakpoint. So I'll just double click and set it here. And for the external breakpoint, I need to put the cursor there and then hit on the external breakpoint set. So this way it sets it. And if I need to remove it, I need to put the cursor on the same place and hit the remove. So for now, I'll set it. All right. So once we have set our uh, debugger, let's execute it and see how the debugging screen looks. So this will be your first look at the debugger. So I execute the program. Uh, I do not give any uh, select options. Let's execute here. Click this button or hit F8. And here you go. So you have your debugger stopped. So your program is stopped here. And you know you now can analyze all the data so we'll we'll see how we can do in the subsequent uh, sections